According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board and then... This doesn't make any sense. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. What else did the log say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. Doesn't say anything about how the ship got back into human territory. The Geth transformed them into husks and left the vessel where they knew it would be found. A warning to other organics not to enter the Vale. According to... They brought it on... Our... The Geth transformed them into husks, and left the vessel where they knew it would be f found. A warning to other organics not to enter the Vale.
Lead the way.
Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. All right, see you. Commander, something you need? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Top of my What are you talking Okay. Put the Normandy in my head. I have to go. All right, see you. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Lock logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So you 
It'll be tough going. We'll start over. Any luck finding my workstation? I well, haven't found your workstation or Just keep it in mind while you're out there. Good luck, Commander. We'll make it. I hope Exogeny learned from this. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. All right, see you. Commander. I have to go. All right, see you. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news.
Hello, Commander. Show me what you... Hello, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Jelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Do you know a C-Sec officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at Of course. At Welcome back.
Yes, human. You need. Oh, you will be pleased. I. Here, but not not now. Watching it go away. Let me let me drink it. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. say we head down to Cora's den after shift. Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently they've got a huge demand for Cora. Now that you have experienced a Spectre's life firsthand, Garrus, do you regret leaving your security position? Fighting a rogue Spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat c -Sec. I am unsure how the imminent destruction of all organic life beats anything, but your enthusiasm is comforting nonetheless. Greeting. How can this humble servant be of use to you? Goodbye, Commander. Thank you. 
Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Garrus, perhaps it is my own trouble with Benezia that makes me ask, but do you feel comfortable facing a respected Turi inspector like Saren? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. With your respect for the specters, I thought you might hesitate. I'm glad I was wrong. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Logged. The com commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. All in triplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. So can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? Don't tell me you and Vernus hugged on graduation day. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. 
Blowhards are easy to brush off. How'd he finally get under your skin? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. He didn't have time to hate it. I killed him. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans, too. I want to know you're on our side. Whatever needs to be done. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. You're free to believe whatever you want, Lieutenant. Just follow orders. Yes, ma'am. I should return to my duties now. Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. Wait, are you saying this is your first time? I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it, not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. 
Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Commander. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Garrus. Commander. What well, for, oh. Garrus? I'm, uh... You're welcome, Garrus. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those Colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of them. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Ma'am? Commander? I should get back to my duties, ma'am. Shepard? So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? I decided. Killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? 
Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard? Rex? Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, aye, aye, Commander. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Hey, Shepard. You need something? I should go. See you later. Looking for supplies? You bet, Commander. Approach Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah. <laughs> 
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. The next Navy patrol isn't due for another two weeks. You're a long way from home, Commander. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Get out of here. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the document. I have urgent business here. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. That's where I need to be then. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. 
Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Tell me about the job again. This one has procured a special item for a customer. I'll think about it and get it. This one humbly begs the other to consider its request. Has the other reconsidered All right, this one? I'll help. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? 
The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already, did I not? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses they will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. 
What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? No. I don't suppose they're clean either. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior pattern. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those with... Don't hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the Varia now. I can't... What do you want? I've heard Opalt has something for you. Like I care that you know? You his courier or something? Yes, but I haven't picked up his cargo yet. Hmm. Sit down a minute. I have a business proposal. I'm paying the Hanar more than I want. I'll bet he's paying you less than you want. Sell it to me directly. I'll consider your offer. Make the right decision. You have my package? Not yet. Then go get it! Mr. Vargas? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, Sales. Were you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades on enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars Gene for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. 
I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. Sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to hearing from the Alliance. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Commander Shepard. You're the spec. What sort of offer did they make you? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on things. Full benefits, of course. No, I'm sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I start getting stock options. You hear about the resort then? The equator. Bounce backing, diving. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you?
The managers warned us about you. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Show me what you're selling. Of course. How may this one assist? This one awaits your return. Spectre, right? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics insights. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshin. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zynalea shut down SI's offices, quiet-like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. 
How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm. Security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Henshan Security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, Miss... Oh. Now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off-world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. 
Well, I don't need a story. Which you get pieces. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Noveria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanchan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all-clear. That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. And if the crew never sends an all-clear? The executive board votes whether or not to destroy the facility. One antimatter warhead from the battle stations vaporizes all contaminants. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. 
Come talk to me when you change your mind. What sort of offer did they make you? Good. Uh, I don't... Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you referring to the blizzard? Of course. What else would I be referring to? I heard there was an accident. There have been unseemly rumors circulating along the lines of ancient evil and plague from distant suns. <laughs> Amusing, no? Someone watches too many bad horror vids. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species. Do you know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Specter, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer.
I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Why do you ask? Read it where it's due. There's a lot of corruption here. Maybe this will rein it in a bit. So what can I do for you today? I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. What the matriarch had in the crates. Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. <laughs> 